Good morning. It is Friday, January 20th. Happy Friday. So today is going to be another big laundry day. Continuing nesting, getting things ready. Um, we have a huge pile of laundry to do. Or I have a huge pile of laundry to do today because I want to try to get it done before Brett comes home. And hopefully he can help me with the folding. Um, so lots of laundry, cleaning up some more in our bedroom, uh, which is also going to be the baby's kind of bedside nursery. Uh, we live in a one bedroom right now and we don't plan on moving anytime too soon. So I don't want to have a newborn and think about having to move. So I'll show you a little bit of a how the sneak peek of how the room is looking right now but I might do a different kind of like nursery reveal uh, so anyway let's get this day started so here is the pile of laundry that I need to sort through I'll probably take it down in batches because it's too heavy and kind of awkward for me to try to carry it all down at one time and while I do that, I'm currently going through uh, Positive Birth Company's hypnobirthing course. Um, I wasn't able to sign up for any of the classes through my doctor just because the schedule just didn't work out with my schedule. So it's nice that I could do something that's online, kind of on my own time and that bag of clothes don't mind that it's a bag of clothes for donation i also have some stuff over there on the bench that's going to go to donation hopefully i have a chance to do that today as well so i'm going to start through these clothes while i listen to my birth class videos the guidelines state that induction of labor needs to be clinically justified so obviously that's slightly subjective. What counts as clinical justification? So I just checked our laundry room app. It says that all five washers are available. So I can go ahead and head straight on down there run these two loads of laundry and then I'll do these two after. Look at this chunky monkey. Look at this chunky monkey. Right now. Hi fat boy. So I ended up washing the sheets as well. Um, so I basically have six loads of laundry going. Or I have these two that just finished. So, and then I have two in the wash, two in the dryer. So it's a big laundry day. I don't think I've ever been this motivated to do laundry. So in the meantime, while I have all this laundry going, I thought I would just show the progress with our room right now. Okay, so as I said, we live in a one bedroom right now. Don't have any plans to move anytime soon because it's the Bay Area. Things are expensive and we figured she'll still be small for a bit. Um, so anyway, so our bed used to be up against this wall. Those two dressers used to be our nightstands and our dressers. It's so basically flipped everything around moved our bed here, got new nightstands, and then switched those over and those are kind of gonna be the baby's nightstands and changing table. Yeah, so everything is kind of a mess right now. Just need to get all the things washed and organized and put in their correct places, get rid of some things. Um, we put up these frames, but don't mind what's in them. Just kind of put them up for um, 
for spacing and I need to print new pictures. Got to return this exercise ball to my brother and sister-in-law because this one is too, she's shorter than me. Um, so this one is too small for my height. We got a different one. Um, so yeah, that's the sneak peek. I don't really want to show too much until everything is ready. Saturday, January 21st, um, about 6.20 in the morning. This is probably the earliest that I've gotten up since going on maternity leave about two weeks ago. Um, if you're wondering why I'm up this early, it's because I have an online breastfeeding class to take and it's online but it's not like a self-guided one where I can just watch the videos and whatever like, it's not videos that I can just watch in whatever order or whenever I have time um, it's one where they actually have someone there teaching you and I think the company is based in New York which is why for me <laughs> The class starts at 6.30 a.m., which is, yay, I'm so excited about. <laughs> um, but no, really, I'm looking forward to learning more about breastfeeding. I did take kind of the intro class from this same company um, and decided to take their full course because that's one thing that I really want to kind of get down or um, have more understanding of or just arm myself with the right tools to hopefully be able to breastfeed successfully. Yes, yeah, so I'm up nice and early. Class is about to start soon. And then I don't know if I'll be able to even get to nap today because we have a lot to do. Let's get this day started. This is what it looks like outside. So dark, the sun's not even out yet. How rude. So I ended up taking a nap after class just because I was falling asleep. I was really trying not to fall asleep during class because the stuff, um, the information was interesting and it was it's important for me to learn it, but I just kept drowsing off. And so I ended up taking a nap after class and now I'm awake, had some lunch, and we continue with our day. Okay, right, so next we are going to install the car seat in my car because baby is going to be mostly with me plus I have the spot that has a I have a parking spot in our parking lot so it's just easier I also have a vacuum a little handheld vacuum so I can vacuum my car because it's been a while and it's super dirty and now we're doing the little baby mirror so I can peek in my rear view mirror at baby like this no actually 
like this. Don't mind the mess, but I'm just laughing at the CDs I have in my car. I think these two are mix CDs. I don't really know what's on them. I have another mix CD that a castmate of mine made for everyone in our cast for one of the shows I did. But I have um, the original soundtrack of Les Mis and then Barbara's Rise End. <laughs> Good morning. It is Monday, January 23rd. I didn't really film much yesterday just because we had been doing a lot of cleaning and nesting and so yesterday was kind of just our one day to relax. Um, we had brunch with my best friend and her husband and it was really nice for them to come and visit us. Probably probably the last time we'll see them before the baby is born and then we'll see them once they come visit baby and then after that we just stayed at home and chilled and watched the Niners game um yes yeah, so I really didn't do much yesterday and then today I don't really know what to do with myself now that a lot of the big stuff is kind of out of the way a lot of the big organization things that I needed to do that were on my to-do list are done just like little tidying up to do here and there um yeah so i'm not really sure what to do today i'll probably give the um unemployment office a call because i need to get my pregnancy leave stuff sorted out there was an issue with uh my name that i used to file because I did change my name legally when we got married in April. And I did it through Social Security first, but I haven't gotten around to changing all my IDs and stuff. And so it's just been really confusing as what name I should file everything under. So I need to call them and talk to them about that. Um, other than that, just a few little things here and there. Not much to do, just prepping kind of our birth plan for the hospital. I'm, I do have one already written out, but I need to make a copy for them and for us and just kind of go over it one more time um, with me and then with Brett. And then, yeah, just continue preparing for labor, waiting. Anyway, let me show you kind of what the place looks like-ish, kind of. Alright, so here is the kitchen. It's not the prettiest kitchen in the world, but it's cleaned and wiped down. Dishes are clean, and the counters are pretty organized. And then our dining table or dining area is nice and clean. We are just have my laptop on there because I was on it earlier, but we just had a whole bunch of baby stuff and random things on there that we needed to organize. And now it's cleared. And this is the living room. And this bench was also filled with a bunch of stuff. Took those bags to donation. And yeah still have these things that I need to figure out what to do with or where to put but for the most part I'm happy and then there's this guy <laughs> so one thing I do want to get done at some point today is I have all these like, product registration cards for bunch of the baby stuff that we got so I want to go online and get all of these done for kind of the safety recalls and the warranties and stuff that's on my to-do list 
so as promised, I didn't do much today. It's later in the day now. Um, we did end up going to JCPenney because I wanted to grab a new duvet cover and some pillowcases. We also needed new bath mats because the ones that we have are super gross. Um, we haven't really taken good care of them, so they're kind of stained or like faded um, and matted down. And so hopefully these ones are easier to take care of. These are machine washable, so. But I am a little worried about the, I like the color. I'm hoping we can keep them clean. This is what we got from JC Penny. Duvet cover, pillowcase, pillowcases, and then some bath mats to replace the ones we have now. Super soft. They say they're machine washable and fade resistant, so we'll see. Brett is back out to the store, He's probably going to Lowe's to get us a new toilet seat cover. A nicer one because the one that we have in there right now is just a cheap plastic one. Yep, so once we get these in, I'll show you a slight update to the bathroom. Anyway, so while Brett is out and while I'm waiting for him to come back home, I'm going to go ahead and prep dinner. Tonight we're going to make some chicken adobo. So this minced garlic, or maybe even minced garlic in general, I haven't noticed it before pregnancy, so I think it might just be a pregnancy thing, but the smell of it is just so strong for me. It makes me nauseous, makes me want to throw up. And I love garlic. I love garlic fries, garlic bread, or just garlic in general. Um, when it's cooked, it's fine. But when I open this up and just get a whiff of it, I, I can't take it. Or when it's cooking, like in the process of cooking, the smells in the air is just too much for me. Um, so hopefully that goes away after pregnancy. Because like I said, I do love garlic. So now this is all, all the seasonings are in and I just mix, mix, mix and let it marinate. So this is what it looks like right now. Let it sit in there for a few hours and then we'll throw it on the skillet. Good morning. It is Tuesday, January 24th, about 7.45 a.m. early. Um, and I'm about to head out for another doctor's appointment and another um, non-stress test. <sighs> I really wish that they had booked my appointments further in advance because I'm not liking these early wake up times. <laughs> so yeah, so I have to go to the doctors and then after that, head over to the DMV. I have an appointment um, to get a new ID because of my name change. So let's get this day started. So I just got back from my doctor's appointment and I didn't end up going to the DMV because I did have an appointment, but when I got there, there was absolutely no parking in the parking lot. And there was, there were two lines like outside the door all the way kind of down from the door to where they have the curb over there. And I drove past the lines just to see if like this was the line for walk-ins or for appointments and they're both like equally the same amount of people in both lines and they were for both walk-ins and appointments so i was like i do not want to have to keep circling looking for parking and then wait in that line for an appointment that i have i got there at like 10 
10. Earlier than 10, 10, my appointment was scheduled for 10, 30. I just did not feel like waiting in that line. So I think I'm going to try and see if I can make an appointment for like first thing in the morning and just show up a little bit early. So hopefully I don't have to wait that long in line. Anyway, so I just stopped by Bye Bye Baby just to browse, but also I've been wanting to get another baby blanket. We have a couple already, but I just really wanted one that was a little softer, a little warmer. We have some knit ones that are a little thinner, which is gonna be good for you know, earlier spring or maybe summer, if even that, fall maybe. Um, but I just got this super soft, plush blanket yeah and I also got a bunch of packages delivered yesterday I already opened them but I'm gonna kind of do a little haul a little unboxing right now um, and I forgot to show you our new bath mats and here are our new bath mats nothing super exciting but they're nice and soft yeah just nice to have new soft bath mats for the bathroom instead of the old kind of matted ones that we had. Hopefully we can keep these clean. All right, time for a mini haul. So first I am going to open, well I already opened them yesterday, but first I'm gonna go through this package from Bodily. I just got a five pack of postpartum underwear. It came in a pack of, there are three black pairs and then three of this kind of pinky nude color. And the material is super soft. I did try it on last night. Definitely full coverage. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to try these. I might start wearing them this week. They are, they're super soft. And then of course into postpartum, there's enough room for your whole pad situation um, from postpartum bleeding. So I'm excited to try these. They aren't super um, restrictive or cinchy, so they're, comf they're super comfy and they're nice and soft. Also, got this belly band so I know that there's differing opinions on belly bands um, I have read that it is especially helpful if you've gotten a c-section um, which we're not planning on doing but who knows what will happen um, it, but for just vaginal deliveries, it's not necessarily a necessity, um, and it could impact how your pelvic floor kind of recovers after. But I thought it would be nice to wear at least for a few days after, while everything is still getting adjusted back, all my organs and whatnot, and um, my abdominals are still kind of trying to find their way um, just to have a little bit of support. I don't think I would wear it for too long because I really want to focus on you know, pelvic floor rehab afterwards and kind of working on that and not necessarily using the belly band as a crutch. But I thought it would be nice at least for the first few days and then occasionally throughout postpartum. All right. Next I have uh, I forgot what this is. Oh. <laughs> I just got an extra cover for our Snuggle Me lounger. So this is, they're having a sale this week, so I just got an extra cover in the goldy color. Yeah, because um, I don't think the Snuggle Me's have any... Um, What's the material that's on it doesn't zip on and off, so that one you can't wash. So they do sell different covers. So I got an extra cover just in case. And then let me do this. This is a company I found through Instagram 
called Milky Knots Co. That is their Instagram as well. And she does a bunch of um, bows, like regular bows, oversized bows, baby turbans. So I got a set. I actually ended up buying five bows. I did one um, purchase of three and then later on that night she on Instagram put on a surprise discount code and I ended up ordering two more. So I haven't gotten those two yet but this is, these are the first three I got. I wanted to get this one, this color. Let me open it actually. So these two are the newborn regular bows. Kind of a checkered neutral, super cute. And then a floral neutral one. And then this one is the oversized bow. Kind of a mauve color. I wanted to get this one in the regular, but it was sold out. And I was on that website like right at 9 a.m. when she released everything. So I don't know. But yeah, so I ended up getting it in the oversized. It might be too overwhelming to put on a newborn, so I might have to wait until baby is a bit older to do that. I'm so excited. Got so many bows for her. All right, and then last thing here. This one I'm really excited about. So throughout pregnancy, for the most part, I've been kind of carrying, I have this plastic gallon water bottle with me. And I think it's really helped with like my fluid intake, which has helped with you know, a lot of things. It helped with constipation, energy levels, etc. cetera. Um, but I really wanted one that also kept the water cold because that one's just plastic doesn't keep the water cold it's whatever temperature you put in there and only for a little while um <clears throat> so this one is not a gallon i feel like that would this is a stainless steel water bottle from hydro jug it's not a gallon because i feel like a gallon in stainless steel would just be way too heavy okay i got this of ombre beige color which I love and it does come with a straw this little opening is kind of I need to start using it so this part gets a little bit loose but I also got This color is called Tan Daisy. It is just their water bottle sleeve to match. And it comes with a strap so you can carry it. Okay. Let me see. And there you go. Yep, so I can't wait to start using this right away. I've recently I've been using this um gosh, I don't even know how many ounces, maybe like a 20 ounce hydro flask. I've just been refilling and refilling. So this is gonna be much more convenient so I don't have to keep going to the fridge and refilling my water. Can't wait to use it for labor and when I'm at the hospital. And it's super cute. Yeah, so that is my mini haul for today. Um, I thought I'd also talk about how my doctor's appointment went. So again, for the past few weeks, I've been having a doctor's appointment followed by a non-stress test with the nurse. And this appointment, as I said in a previous video, or maybe even earlier in this one, I don't quite know how I'm editing these yet. <laughs> um, Today I saw a completely different doctor. My doctor 
had some sort of conflict, isn't coming back until March apparently. And so a few weeks ago I, I had been seeing another doctor for my past few appointments. Today saw a completely different doctor because that doctor was booked and they haven't been booking my appointments far enough in advance. Anyway, so that doctor, you know, she seemed nice. She was nice. Um, she brought up being induced again, which we're not planning on doing. And I told her, or she, ended up, uh, she asked her, oh, like, oh, you have, I see you have an induction scheduled for February. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't plan on being induced. And she kind of made a confused face and asked why. And I told her, I didn't feel that it was necessary since my blood sugars are in control, the baby's doing well in the NST, she's measuring perfectly according to the doctors. Like each week they say she's measuring perfectly. My amniotic fluid's good. My blood pressure's always been good. Baby's been moving. Um, so I don't think it's necessary. And she kind of started to say, well, it's just because, because of the gestational diabetes, we blah, 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 blah. Um, so I kind of not cut her off, not rudely, but I said, you know, I, I'm open to induction. I'm not opposed to it if I feel that it is necessary when the time comes, but at this point I don't feel like it's needed. And so kind of proud of myself for doing that. I'm not really the type of person, especially to strangers, um, who advocates for myself in that way. Um, my best friend and I always make f fun of ourselves when, kind of like when you go to the hair salon and afterwards they spin you around and they ask you, do you like it? And you're like, yeah, I love it. And then you go into your car, you go home and then you start crying because you hate it. Um, so I'm really glad that I was, that I equipped myself with enough information to be able to articulate what I wanted to say and how I wanted um, our birth to go and for what reasons specifically to me. Uh, yeah, so I thought the appointment went well. I'm really happy with how I was able to handle myself. Um, in that situation instead of just kind of letting the doctor talk at me um, and really telling her how I felt and where I was coming from and that my decision is an informed one and also that I'm still I'm still flexible I'm still that induction still is on the table if I feel as if there is something wrong if I feel that we've been going through pregnancy like so well and I feel that there has been a shift and something doesn't feel right then I am open to it but for now no induction scheduled so I just made a regular doctor's appointment for next week which will be my 40 weeks and we'll go from there and after that, I just had my regular NST, my weekly NST appointment. Baby is doing well. She's moving. Heart rate's good. So not much to report there. We're doing well. And we'll see how this week goes. Hopefully, hoping to have natural labor start sometime towards the end of the week, maybe this weekend maybe early next week so we'll see so it is later in the evening um 8 55 p.m i'm going to end this vlog here um right now i'm just going to be going over our birth preferences um, i have everything all written out i just got a template online from this from baby list actually um which was where we did our registry from but i saw on youtube someone actually mentioned making their own template on canva 
and I love me some Canva. I love playing around with Canva. So I just wanted to do something that was more personalized, that had everything that we prefer, would, would like for our birth, because this one I had to write in a bunch of things. Um, and I haven't found a perfect template that was already made. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna work on right now. Hopefully go to bed soon after that because I was watching um, birth vlogs on YouTube uh, just a bit ago and I was falling asleep on the couch. But I just wanna get this done, hopefully real quick, and then go to bed. So good night. <laughs>